Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I will be demonstrating converting a PSD HTML design to a WordPress theme. So for this example, we're going to use our one pager uh, HTML design. So you can find this in our default PSD templates, which you can download from the website. If you look in advanced templates fixed height, you'll see that we have uh, EK125701. This is our website one pager. So if we open up the PSD and we take a look, you'll see that it's actually a full one pager design. Now, there are a few differences in rule sets between HTML and WordPress. Because this design itself is actually using a raw HTML render and it's not using any advanced features such as dynamic height or responsive uh, designs, we can get away with a lot of things. Uh, one of them be it how we're structuring the content. If it's a raw HTML design, there's very little that you have to worry about. But because we're using WordPress, WordPress has very specific functionality that it requires and it has to have structured content. So there are a few slight changes we're going to have to make to basically render this individual design, which is our one page or website design, into our current WordPress theme. So I'm going to take a look at these few things in this actual tutorial. Now, if we look at the layer structure, you'll see we have our common structure, which is our header, our content, and our footer. For WordPress, the very first few things that we need to do is basically just convert these to pages. This will create the default pages that WordPress requires to render. So we're going to create our header, and we're going to create our footer page. Now, the next step is our content. Our content, because WordPress uses dynamic height, dynamic height requires folders. So our content is actually within folders itself, so we could leave it as is. But for simplicity's sake, uh, we always recommend you just basically group it in one level. So for instance, we're going to call this our page. So this is going to be our index page. And then what we have within our index page is our index content. So this way we're keeping all our content structured within one main folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this process for each individual page. So our header, you'll see that we have a bunch of layers. We never recommend using layers with dynamic height. You should always use folders. So what we do is we simply group these and let's call this the header content. And you can see we have all our layers contained within. And let's do the same for the footer. Now, we could export this as is with WordPress, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save a copy of our PSD. You should always do this when you're switching between environments, basically. This will keep uh, several designs that you can just jump back and forth to. So we're going to call this 703, and rather than website, let's call this uh, WP One Pager Fix. Sure. So this is going to be our WordPress design. Now. The next thing that we can do, because WordPress is very powerful, WordPress allows for a lot of options when rendering your content. Currently, as is, our content will be static. So if we were to render this page, we would get this web page basically as is. Exactly the content that we have in Photoshop is the content that we're going to render. But this might not be what you want. WordPress allows you to basically have different means of delivering your content. So we give you two default means. One of them is that you can add an option for your administrator where they could actually edit this content on the fly within the WordPress admin. The secondary option is that you could actually create individual sections to pull data from basically posts or pages. So this could be actual content that you have within your WordPress posts rather than static or for the admin. So we give various means as to how you can basically control your data. It's completely up to you. For the purpose of this example, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these two individual elements and possibly the image also. We're going to add an option to them so that we can edit them in the actual WordPress admin. So what we want to do is give a WP option and let's call this our uh, main title so m title and the name is main title okay and the next step we have our description here so let's add an option for this also and let's call this main description okay and why not let's also change the image now export kit allows you to basically modify anything in your WordPress admin so we could have added links to the buttons uh, we can change image content we can change shape colors it's completely up to you now let's call this main image 
Now we will be able to modify these three elements that we set as options within our actual WordPress admin. So now what we can do is we can basically export this and take a look at the theme once it's complete. Now once you've logged into Lightning Storm, what you can do is tab over to the exports panel. We're going to select WordPress and there are a few options that uh, we're going to enable. Now the first thing is layer effects. We always recommend that you enable layer effects. Uh, depending on your situation you might not need it. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to basically disable hide overflow and align the content center. This will just give all our content a center alignment. So we can go ahead and export this. Now, oh, sorry, before I even do that, what you should always do is close your folders. You should always close your folders. This will speed up your export dramatically. A secondary option that we could do is use smart objects, but I'll cover that in another tutorial. So let's just, let's actually save this and export. Now, through the magic of video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up so we can just actually take a look at the output. Now that our export's complete, what we can do is basically take a look at the theme right away. So we can navigate to our output folder and you'll see that we have our theme that we just created. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this to our local WordPress site. So we can simply copy the folder or drag it over. It's completely up to you. What we have is the default uh, 2014 theme activated. So we can take a look at it here. You'll see that it's basically the default theme. What we're going to do is we're going to refresh this page to view our new theme that we just created. Now this is our one pager fix that we exported from Photoshop and this information is derived from your PSD file. So you can view our other tutorials to learn how to modify this information but what we're going to do is just activate this for the demo. Now you'll see right away that we get our export kit options. Now we did set a few settings in our actual PSD and you'll see that these are reflective of the layers that we created within Photoshop to denote the title, the image and the description. So now within the admin section this admin user can now modify these options directly and they will reflect on the main site. So let's now go ahead and take a look at the site now that it's activated. So you'll see that this is our one pager WordPress theme and everything is exported directly from Photoshop so whatever you design is exactly what you're going to see now again WordPress is extremely powerful and we made it a static design but we did allow the admin to change these elements so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate changing the title and the description very quickly just to show you how powerful you can make your PSD theme so let's say uh, we are the best and nothing to say. So let's go ahead and let's save those changes and let's refresh the site. So now you'll see that we have our complete content modified directly using the WordPress admin area and we could have done this for the image also. So the more options that you set in your PSD is the more options that you will be able to modify in your actual WordPress theme. So this was a basic one-pager design created from our PSD file which was originally an HTML design.